shoes it alongside A.J. Malesko. If you look down between the benches, yes, indeed, Ray Ferraro did make it. How would you compare that to trying to control your emotions tonight if you're playing for Utah? It's crashing the net and getting an early look. Off to Barrett Hayton, back to Schmaltz across the line, drops one off to Keller, rink wide pass, that's set up, save Morazic as he took one away from Barrett Hayton. The best and he will rag one back and head off for a change as we are coming up on five minutes gone by in the opening period of the opening game for the Utah Hockey Club in their inaugural season. Kesselring carries it across, drops one, shot, score! Dylan Gunther lights the lamp, Utah on the board first! It ends up on the stick of Dylan Gunther. Look at Dylan. Look at Cooley go through the middle of the ice. So quick to catch a ring, and this pass is right on the tee. Gunther takes it off the back foot and beats Morazic. So young. Cole with a stretch pass. Did not connect with O'Brien. Moved by the rookie, Nolan Allen. Held in at the right point, floating towards the net. Kerfoot steered aside by Morazic. Tremendous comeback by St. Louis for a road win on day, on day one of the season. Jersey towards the net. Shot and hit the post. He goes cross seam, hoping for a return. Instead, that's intercepted by Martinez and worked out, but not past the blue line. Keller with a take back. Here comes Schmaltz. Stand on the shot. A rebound. Score! The captain on the backhand. Down the loose change. Utah's got the 2 nothing lead. The Hawks want their veteran players to lead on the road. Craig Smith turns this puck over one foot from the blue line. This just can't happen, and a veteran player knows better. Schmaltz actually fans on this. He goes to shoot it. Everyone goes for the block. The one touch ahead, Jones, but it's taken right back. McBain off to Gunther. Cooley controls. Wrist shot. Save made by Morazic. Trapped it to the shoulder and holds on with under a minute to go in the opening period. Well, this was the Taylor Hall injury last season as he got tied up along the boards playing Tampa with Michael Asimov. And that torn ACL knocked him out of the lineup last year, only 10 games into the season. Yeah, you know, in his time off, too, he spent time really analyzing their team's power play last year, different personnel, but just how they were, they really struggled early on and then the last two months came on a little stronger, but. And Ray, you mentioned it. There's a shot, and that ends up on the top of the net. Taylor Hall, that quickly snapped one off a seam pass right on his tape. That's a promising start for Chicago. Some pressure, and here comes Kurushev on the move with a toe track. Kurushev, save made by Ingram. How did the puck stay out of the net? Moving in, Felino. Blocker save made by Ingram. The play to Hall, he had the mini breakaway and then the wide open net. And out of all of that, Chicago doesn't get anything but a really good start to this period. Goals were hard to come by last year for the Blackhawks. Five on five, they scored the fewest goals since the NHL began keeping that statistic back in the 2009-2010 season. O'Brien out in front. Oh, Nick! And Kerfoot with a one-touch denied by Morazic. Off the draw, it is one back to that blue line. And Dursey keeps it moving. One-timer on net, save made by Morazic. Now Schmaltz was able to lean into a snapshot. And the outlet now to Donato. Tape to tape Smith. Back to Donato. That shot blocked. It was denied by Cole. Moved by Kolyachina. He took a big hit. Donato now behind the net. Trying to wrap around. Out in front. That's off the post from Smith. Another bar hit by Chicago. Connor Bedard as of yet. Shot by Donato. Finish on the Utah defense. And then Donato's going to fire this puck to the front of the net. It actually comes off his stick. And Craig Smith... Five-time 20-goal scorer elevates this up over the right shoulder. And, and not much of it coming from Bedard. Eight minutes and 40 seconds of ice time. Here is Hall putting one through the crease. Club save is made by Ingram. Takes one away from Hall. And that allows the zone exit by Seth Jones. Skating ahead, Vlasic across the line with a drop pass. Mikheyev, a wrister, chest save is made by Ingram. Well, there's been hockey, and Gary Bettman Absolutely, made this yeah. point in some professional form in Salt Lake City in the state of Utah for about 50 years. Yeah, so I mean, they, they know the, the sport. That shot, SCORE! 
Boris Sergachev fires from the point. In front, Barrett Hayden was in position. We'll see if it was deflected, but it's 3-0 Utah. It looks like Hayden got a piece. Connor Ingram out the window as Nick Schmaltz enters the zone, pushes the Blackhawks back, and the shot is a double deflection. It's going to hit. Oh, it hits the defenseman, or Jason Dickinson, rather. My bad. It hits Jason Dickinson. Martinez circles his own net with some speed. Jones gains some more. Bedard with a step. Bedard moves in. Bedard centering pass. That shot. Score! Bedard playmaker to Taravainen. Just what the Blackhawks needed. The top line strikes. Bedard sets it up. And it's 3-1. to one. Utah zone. Watch Bedard. 98 is going to get the puck. And Sergachev just lets him go by. He doesn't take body nor puck. It's a really poorly played attempt by Mikhail Sergachev as Bedard AJ just walks right by him. That's like that's like exhibition season. It's an easy one. For it's sort of crazy that an experienced defenseman like Sergachev would give up that chance. And now we got some heat. And now we've got the first fight in Utah Hockey Club history. Gloves are dropped. Dersey involved. And Haymaker's thrown by Murphy. He's got Dersey on the ice. Now this started with Clayton Keller and Murphy. And then Dersey jumped in. And Murphy, who had come back to the Blackhawks bench just a shift or two ago. And he had that beautiful assist to get them on the board. And I do think their power plays, unfortunately, took some of that momentum, some of the wind out of their sails. And we'll have to come back at it here in the third they're hoping this will give them a little stability they're not a big team they added some weight and some heft with some of the players that they added when you look at Cole and Sergeyev Stanley Cup winners too so there's a shot score we've got a one goal game as Vlasic let it go and it ends up caroming past Connor Ingram this went right through Ingram. Alex Vlasic, who had a fantastic rookie season last year, it's the year before, played him in every conceivable situation. He grew, his play came to the point where he was playing on the Blackhawks' top pair. This shot's deflected by Nick Foligno in front of the net. Vlasic's point shot off the Bedard pass is tipped right here, and it goes down between the glove body and pass. And carried now by Kerfoot. Kerfoot, wheel around Rister. That hits Stenland in front. A stretch pass caught by Hall. Moves in on a breakaway. Save Ingram! Kurashev can't figure out how to get it there, so he just rifles it up, hoping that Hall can catch it. Hall took it off his body and then was able to corral it. Ingram stays with him. And the important part is to get those pads squeezed as Hall tries to go back through. He banks it to Dickinson. A lot of pucks won in this third period by Chicago. In front, Anderson. Save made with the left pad by Ingram. He's checked by Sergachev. Centering pass. Hands up on the stick of Teravon. It swept that by Bertuzzi. That hit the post. It ended up under the crossbar. And an impressive third period for the Blackhawks. Tyler Bertuzzi that close. Bouncing puck. Ends up with Dersey. Bounces one ahead. Cooley eyes the empty net. Shoots wide. After it is Gunther. Score! Second of the night for Gunther. And that will ice it for Utah. And Dylan Gunther at the first goal tonight. He's got the fourth goal. So Ian Cole gets it deep. And Cole now has it with a drive. That shot deflected in. A shot pass goal for Lawson Krauss. Lawson Krauss, the newly named associate captain of this team, is the recipient of a beautiful pass by Ian Cole. We talked about the additions on the back end. Ian Cole. Uh... Donato comes together with Krauss. Down to the final five seconds in the crowd. That Delta Center waves their towels and celebrates. The inaugural season begins with a win for the Utah Hockey Club.